Hello learners! Welcome to Magkataon Corner. In this video, we will discuss man and his relationships with the environment. Man's relationship with the environment is the concern of environmental philosophy. Environmental philosophy is a branch of philosophy that studies the natural environment and humanity's place within it. The major issues tackled by environmental philosophers are Humanity's role in the natural world The interaction between nature and human activities And humanity's response to environmental challenges Most views on environmental philosophy emphasize the role humans play in causing environmental changes Other views, however, recognize that changes in the environment are part of a larger interplay among organisms and ecosystems on the planet. Let us now explore the three views of the relationships of man with the environment. Three views of the relationship of man with the environment are anthropocentrism or anthropocentric view cosmocentrism or cosmocentric view and theocentrism or theocentric view we will discuss each of these starting with anthropocentrism or anthropocentric view anthropocentrism holds that human beings are the central or the most significant entities of the world this view gives human beings the right of dominion over the earth as evident in the photo presented this right of dominion over the earth has made human to believe that they are superior to nature and everything under them can be exploited and because of this view humans believed that they are distinctly separate from all other forms of life that human life has intrinsic value while other entities including animals plants minerals and natural resources are just resources that can be justifiably exploited for the benefit of mankind and why is it justifiable to exploit other entities and the natural resources simply because anthropocentrists held that humans and human life have intrinsic value while other entities do have instrumental value only now what is the difference between intrinsic value and instrumental value Intrinsic value is interpreted as end in itself, while instrumental value is interpreted as means to an end. The humans, being the only entity to have an intrinsic value, is the only life form that can be an end in themselves, that can be valuable for and by themselves that has the ability to decide for the good of the self that can exploit other entities anytime and can make those other life forms an instrument for the benefit and satisfaction of the ends of humans that is the description of end in itself Instrumental value being the means to an end sees that other life forms apart from humans being the entities to only have instrumental value are means to an end only and can never become an end in themselves. That they are always just instruments or tools to the gratification and enjoyment of humans that these life forms are there to serve the purpose of our ends and we can do whatever we wanted to do with them 
In other words, they do not have a value by themselves because their value is only being the means or the instruments to our ends. Because of this view, humans are considered as a significant threat to the natural world and all living things. That is anthropocentrism. But another view opposed to this, it does not believe that humans are the central and most significant species on the planet. And that is the second view, which is cosmocentrism or cosmocentric view. Cosmocentric view claimed that the natural world is being maintained by the interrelationship among living organisms and that every living thing on the planet is dependent on each other for survival. It simply means that humans and as well as other life forms on the planet do have both type of volume, the intrinsic volume and the instrumental volume. We can have a deeper understanding on these as we go farther. Cosmocentrism holds the philosophy of deep ecology, which promotes the inherent worth of all living beings regardless of their instrumental utility to human needs. It argues that the natural world is a complex relationship in which the existence of organisms is dependent on the existence of others within ecosystems. This means that all life forms on Earth has its respective inherent worth and that all entities coexist with other to maintain balance in the ecosystem because everything has its own beneficial purpose. In short, it placed highest importance or emphasis in the universe or nature as an opposite to anthropocentric view that strongly focuses only on the humankind as the most important element of existence. For cosmocentricists, human beings are microcosm of the cosmos or a small version of the universe. Therefore, when natural laws and cosmic patterns are tampered, the resulting imbalance will also affect the balance within humans. That is why it held that humans are ends in themselves but can also be the means or instruments for the benefit of other life forms. In this same way, other life forms are means to our ends but they can also be an end in themselves. Take for example the animals. These animals survived through time because they know how to feed themselves and they also know how to feed their youngs. They know where they should live, that they are safe. They have intrinsic features that other animals of their kind can understand them or that let them understand each other. If they do not have the ability to be an end in themselves, how would they know in the first place that they need to feed their youngs in order for them to survive? Right? I hope that you see the essence of the cosmocentric view. And finally, the third view is Theocentrism or theocentric view. As its name suggests, theocentric view refers to a belief with God and that God is the creator of everything. The Bible says that God created man and granted him dominion over all creatures and tasked him to subdue the earth. This is found in the book of Genesis 
in chapter 1 verses 26 to 28. This dominion, however, did not mean wanton exploitation and destruction, but rather to care for our nature and the environment, enhance it, and contribute to its growth and development. Still in the book of Genesis, it is written that man was originally created perfect and placed in a perfect, friendly environment designed to be his home. And the humanity being the occupants of this home, that is, the world or the planet, are bequeathed with a responsibility to be the stewards of God's creation. The stewardship to God's creations is recognized by Pope John Paul II as the ministerial act of the humans to the world and must be exercised with wisdom and love. Therefore, theocentric view pointed out that all being basically initially and ultimately focuses around in the transcendent God and finds in Him the ultimate purpose of existence. Remember, we are stewards of God's creations and not superior to them to exploit them, but are part of their growth and development to sustain the balance in the ecosystem. Which of the three views is your relationship with the environment? I hope you learned something from this lesson. Thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing.